weather day because we've got storms coming our way. Uh, meteorologist Ella Dorsey is here. I felt so sorry for those youngsters that had to go back to school this morning. It's in this a kind dreary of gloom. day, isn't I know. it? Yeah, Newton County back to school today, Tatuga County as well. I am seeing the fog lift in Metro Atlanta. About 30 minutes ago, you could not see the skyline. Now you can visibility at about four miles. So that fog should start to lift here. Here's the culprit of the reason for today's flash flood risk. Yesterday, we picked up three and a half inches of rain. That is a daily record so the ground is already so saturated that any additional rainfall going to quickly cause creeks and streams to rise right now it's just some very intermittent very light showers in the mountains metro Atlanta mainly dry that will not be the case later on today that first alert it goes into effect at noon today essentially through the entire afternoon and evening storms will be widespread and Unlike the last several days, it's not just going to be rain. There's actually a heightened risk for a few strong storms of damaging winds and lightning today. There's just more energy for the atmosphere to work with today. Highs will be held into the low 80s, very similar to yesterday with those widespread storms. Let's stop the map for you. 1 p.m. You can see widely scattered showers, some heavy rain at times. When the kids get out of school today, it's going to be a mess. And then there may be a cluster of some more organized storms that dip down into Metro Atlanta right in time for the evening. Commute 5, 6 p.m. This is the concern for a few stronger storms with damaging winds. So all risks are at play today. It's not really until after sunset that we will dry out tonight. So heavy rain, flash flooding, that's going to be the main risk. But again, lightning is going to be a high possibility as well. If you uh, have a dog that does not like loud storms, you need to think about them this afternoon. I do expect those storms to be boomers. In addition to that, a moderate risk for damaging winds. We could see a few strong storms with damaging winds. Overnight tonight, we will dry out. Can't rule out a few spotty showers for tomorrow morning's commute. And we may see another round of scattered storms tomorrow afternoon, but you can see it does not look nearly as stormy as today. We're still going to hold on to about a 40% chance of rain tomorrow, but the clouds should break through the afternoon. That will allow temperatures to jump into the low 90s tomorrow, and the warm-up only continues from there. We continue to dry out through the week. Thursday, Friday, when many school districts head back to school, it looks mostly dry, but it looks hot. 95, 96 degrees by Thursday and Friday of this week. As we head into August, guys, this is the month where we usually see the biggest uptick in activity, tropical activity in the Atlantic, and there is a cluster of storms out in the Atlantic that's headed towards the Caribbean. National Hurricane Center has given this a 50% chance of developing by this weekend, so that's something that we'll be watching closely as we head towards the first weekend in August. Putting it all together for you, 83 degrees today, 80% chance of storms. Again, flash flooding a high possibility through the day today. 40% chance of storms Tuesday, Wednesday. We're back into the mid 90s by Thursday. Thursday, Friday look mainly dry. This weekend, I do think we'll see some storms Saturday evening, but overall, we are going to see lots of sunshine. A great weekend to spend some time at the pool as temperatures will still be in the 90s. First alert meteorologist Ronnie Harris.